So what did we learn up to now? We learn up to now that number one, what are pancos tumor? Pancos tumors are the pulmonary carcinomas which are present anatomically in the uppermost part of the lung or they are called superior sulcus tumors or apical tumors, right? What is the apical part of the lung? This part of the lung is uh, above the first rib and through the uh, this aperture thoracic inlet or superior thoracic aperture they are protruding to the what in the neck right they are protruding in the neck this is inlet and and they are protruding here and here and here there are very important what neurovascular structures and other structures and these tumors which are in the apices of lungs right they are usually not diagnosed early or misdiagnosed because they don't produce classical bronchogenic features of lung cancer right they do not produce uh, initially at least uh, not with the suspicious scar for hemoptysis or dyspnea they classically present these tumors when they spread in the surrounding structure and start damaging right they may produce rib erosions or vertebra erosions and they involve lower part of the brachial plexus the uh, t1 root or c8 root or trunks inferior trunk right uh, due to these involvements they produce a very special type of clinical feature which are unfortunately uh, treated by uh, by just simple painkillers and that is they initially produce in almost all patient 96 percent of the patient they come with the shoulder pain right and then the shoulder pain eventually start get referred in the back or it start re referring downward and you develop sensory abnormalities along the medial side of the arm especially on the ulnar side of the arm because medial cutaneous nerve is also damaged uh, medial cutaneous nerve of the arm, medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm and other other supply that lead to initially tingling in these areas right or lancinating pain like a sharp pain or electrical like pain this is when tumor is irritating the nerve fibers we call it neuropathic pain and when some fibers are damaged then relevant areas become numb they don't have any sensations loss of sensations so the sensory abnormalities then there are motor abnormalities also with the time they develop they are in related with the ulnar nerve you can see it from here damage to the t1 and c8 or lower trunk which is having fiber from t1 and c8 they eventually go to the ulnar nerve and of course some of them go to the median nerve but we are not discussing that right now uh, so they are going to the ulnar nerve and ulnar nerve is the main supply to the intrinsic muscles of the hand that is small muscles of the hands all hypothenar muscles most of the thenar muscles because some other are supplied by the median nerve on thenar side and then all entrosiae and two medial a third and fourth lumbricals when all these muscles they lose their motor supply not only a hand grip is weak and fine movements of the hands are difficult rather shape of the hand also becomes abnormal thenar eminence is lost hypothenar eminence is lost and your fingers go to the claw shaped which i will discuss in ulnar nerve palsy so these sensory and motor problems right along with that as tumor if grows medially it will hit the what is this sympathetic trunk and when it hits the sympathetic trunk what will it do it will produce failure of the oculo it will classically damage the stellate ganglion right you know stellate ganglion is inferior cervical ganglion plus thoracic first thoracic sympathetic ganglion usually they are fused together so we call them stellate ganglion when this ganglion is invaded and destroyed right that will lead to failure of the 
sympathetic mode, sympathetic motor fibers going to the ipsilateral head and neck lead to half anhydrosis with ipsilateral drooping of the eye which is ptosis along with that meiosis due to unopposed parasympathetic action of the sphincter pupillae or and failure of the sympathetic supply to the dilator pupillae and so what is there anhydrosis meiosis ptosis and apparent anaphthalmos all these features are horner syndrome 